your motto at Mad Jeans is doing jeans differently. So what are the main differences between your production, between Mad Jeans production chain and business model, and let's say opposed, as opposed to our other uh, ways of producing jeans? Sure. Mud Jeans, the main difference is that we're a circular denim company. And what that means is that we incorporate circularity across our business. Simply put, we actually take our old jeans, recycle them, and reincorporate them back into production. Um, we have a very short supply chain. And with our Lisa Jeans model, we encourage our customers to send back their jeans once they're done using it. When the jeans come back to us, we recycle it. And as I mentioned, reincorporate it back into production. So we're able to keep our raw material in a circular use. Thank you, Laura. And I know that um, you can also um, lease some of these jeans, right? Could you tell us a bit more about that and that part of the business model? Absolutely. So the concept of leasing is uh, something that, well, is what Mud Jeans is actually famous for. And the idea behind it is to challenge the idea of ownership and give our customers the opportunity to still own something new, but not having the environmental anxiety of owning a new product. The way it works is that our customers can lease a pair of jeans for 12 months. Uh, the first lease will cost you $9.95 per month. Um, and at the end of those 12 months, those jeans are, of course, yours. But the idea is that we ask our customers to send back the jeans um, so that we can recycle it or make it part of our vintage collection. That is, of course, if they no longer want the jeans. Um, should they want the jeans, they're welcome to keep them as long as they want. And also, Laura, one, one of the main uh, things that caught my attention about Mad Jeans is as well, your type of supply chain. It's, 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 it's much shorter than in, in other cases. So how, how does that work? And, and it, does that have benefits when, for example, shocks like COVID-19 happen? Yeah, absolutely. We have a very short supply chain. Primarily, it's for our main supply chain partners. We start in Recover, where our jeans are uh, recycled and turned into fiber, um, blended in with GOTS certified organic cotton, turned into a yarn. Then we move to Tejidos Rollo, where the yarn is dyed and turned into a fabric. And then we move to Eustex International, and they turn that fabric, they cut it, stitch it, and wash it into a brand new pair of, of denim jeans. This is very unique for the denim industry because A, it's very short. So uh, three of those supply chain partners are in Spain, and the third one, uh, the fourth one, excuse me, is in um, Tunisia. And so we keep everything quite close, and that helps us actually have a very low environmental impact as well. More importantly, we also have a very close relationship with them. Uh, you cannot have a circular business without a close relationship with your supply chain partners, strong solidarity. And of course, during COVID, it was only reinforced. Uh, we worked very much close together, made sure to support each other, and we were able to continue the business. Um, and that is very much rooted in circularity.